Ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Not ready. Hello. Hello. Hi, Gavin. Emily. They want to celebrate empowered women. Kick Ass 2 is a movie that sums up modern feminism, and it is women are men. Women kick ass, women are Marines. Like, modern feminism is, why aren't there more female superheroes? I don't know, because it's not a feminine thing to fly to a bank robber and punch him in the face. It seems like feminism has said, women, you're freed from the kitchen, and then it took them out of the frying pan into the fire, and they're just sitting in a filthy apartment, eating takeout food, getting used and abused by men. I've always said New York City is an elephant's graveyard for ovaries because women come here thinking it's empowered to get fucked by tons of guys and then thrown in the trash. <laughs> it's, that's the that's thing about all this feminism. Story. Men win. With free love and bra burning, we got tons of sex and jiggly tits. The background of it is poverty. Like in Africa, yeah. they burn elephant dung as fuel, and then we come in and tell them, no, that's bad for the uh, environment for you to use coal, so stick with the dung, and then they get all these diseases because they're inhaling hot shit all day. <laughs> I did not know. Here's something you should understand about men. We have evolved over all these years to be horny 24 hours a day and be thinking of sex 24 hours a day. It's, it's a curse when you're in your teens because you are honestly on the verge of tears begging God to let you stop beating off. It's been six times. <laughs> I, is there something I can eat to be less horny? Senor Gavin McGinnis, thank you for being on the show, sir. Hello! I know for a fact, mathematically, that Joe Rogan is interviewing me with an old-timey bullhorn in 1936 Earth, right. way the fuck out there, and okay. I look exactly like you. Right. I know that to be mathematically true. And I you have three two cocks. Two plus two equals four, and I have three cocks. And I've even had women, one time this woman was like, Jewish women especially seem particularly raunchy, and she was like, oh, fuck me, fuck me, I'm your fucking whore, I'm human garbage. The one deal breaker, and I'm sorry ladies, but you have deal breakers too, unbelievably thin hair. Like when you can see the whole skull. And I don't want to get to a feminism where that's beautiful, because it's haunting. I, I dated a girl who had fake tits, and she sat me down, we had a talk, where she told me I had to pay more attention to her breasts. Because I would be like, face, neck, uh, shoulders. Uh, she belly, sat you pussy. down. Here, you listen to me and you listen well, partner. I've had enough of this and I want you. And, and they go, order in the court. Sit her down. She goes, no, I will not sit down. I demand that you listen to me. And I'm watching it. I just had this fucking epiphany wash over me. I realized men invented this bitch. Like men invented Jezebel, feminism, Lara Croft, this whole thing. And I think the suffragette movement, the whole like women should vote, was guys going, why don't you fucking say that you should vote? And the ladies go, what? I was making a lasagna. No, get up there. Say, I need to vote. I'm a lady. And they go, okay, uh, I'm a lady. I mean, women weren't even allowed to call it vibrators a generation ago. It was a massage tool. Now you go, there's a sex store every fucking 20 feet. <laughs> you can get the pearl <laughs> rabbit chicks to keep them in their purses. Shit, yeah. half the time they have one in them right now. <laughs> That's not true. No, but it, it, it does happen. You do get those ones that stay up there, and it takes like 20 hours to get an orgasm. You just be, you know, having your Cobb salad and going, oh. But what about these angry women, you know, angry feminists? Or what, you don't want them raising kids, right? You don't want fucked up kids well, being what, raised by these angry yes, women. Yes, you're talking about a handful of cunts, but what's happening is these women mm. like my wife, instead of meeting me and having three kids, they're going, I guess I should be in the workforce. <laughs> Because men are women and women are men. So she goes into the so workforce. So you think they should rely on She comes on up men? with some stupid converse idea. And everyone is just sitting, pinching the bridge of their nose, going, yeah, uh, that's not going to work. We can't use Rolling Stones music in a commercial. It'd be like $3 million. You know what I mean? <laughs> Relying on men. Look, you fucking made three human beings come out of your con. This, in the past few months, I ran the numbers, I've been spending $780 a day. <gasps> you should be giving, be true, you but... should be in, in South Williamsburg handing out dildos to Hasidic Jewish girls of over 18. It's, he's a, it's really interesting because he's a very smart guy. Well, he gets into it and then he sabotages it with humor. Now, what we'd never figured out what what did Marin get upset with? It was, it was after the show. He said the problem with education is systemic. Right. A word I hate more than the word batshit crazy. You don't hate. You, I hate the word hate, batshit. What the fuck does that mean? So the reason whites are, are doing well is because we cheated. Yeah. But if you look at the data of Asians, for example, 
you will find way more Asian privilege than there is white privilege. Asians make way more money than whites. They're way more educated than whites. They are less likely to experience any kind of crime than whites are. They're less likely to die at work than whites are. I mean, the list goes on. Yeah, they suffer from a different sort of um, racial stereotyping. Well, they don't suffer. They're kicking her ass. Asian, everything you can say about white privilege is more true with Asian privilege. Asian privilege, I wouldn't call it Asian privilege. Well, it fits all the criteria of white male privilege. What do you mean by that? Uh, they get better jobs. They get better educations. They don't, no one sees them as threatening. Uh, everything that you can say that whites mm. cheated to get is pr more prevalent in an Asian society. Okay, let's drop that. I guess it's not going anywhere. Uh, there is a huge supply problem with xenophobes and racists. We, the, the demand is there, but they don't exist. So they're trying to find anything remotely... Ra they're not going to get racist, but maybe we could find Islamophobic. <coughs> In fact, that's why Tapper said, how about you say that about blacks? Can you say that? Can we find us a Gargamel? Because we're all Smurfs and we're looking for a cartoon bad guy. But the truth is... There is a problem with Islamophobia in this country, and it's Islamophobia-phobia. We are so petrified of offending people we're at war with that we bend over backwards. A, a student has an uncomfortable afternoon for bringing what looked like a bomb to school, and the president is on his Twitter saying, don't be mad, you want to come over? The dominant narrative in America is white people are evil, white people suck, we should be ashamed of ourselves. And I don't think we should be ashamed of ourselves. I think that we should take responsibility for the system that we've created. The best system in the world? Oh, we do not have the best system Who in the world. Who has a better system? <laughs> there are many European countries that have are much better off oh, than us. Oh, you mean like the European countries with a higher density of whites, like Northern Europe? <laughs> uh, that's one way to phrase it, I guess. You don't mean Turkey. No. <laughs> you don't mean Eastern Europe no. with the communists. So the only time you can come up with a system that's better than America, it's a country that's more white than America. I don't I understand. Don't know what to say to that, so. Like we don't she, like short like, hair, we don't like Birkenstocks. I, don't but I used to date this girl. She had a shaved head. She was hot as fuck. Uh, when you fuck them from behind, it looks like a dude. It does. I don't like that. That's rape. A very small dude with a big ass. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking a fat 12-year-old boy. You like regular natural tits. I like, it's, it's like my buddy Trevor said. He goes, when I was 20, I dated a girl with droopy tits, and I hated it, but I sure wouldn't mind fucking with them right now. Like a girl doggy style, and they're hanging down like fucking bags and swinging. Mm -hmm. I mean, like that? I couldn't look at them where I'd come. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah, well, when you get older, your your spectrum <laughs> of attractiveness increases, and you're like, ooh, I'm fucking from behind. I can sort of smell poo. I love it. Oh, really? Just a faint whiff. <laughs> yeah, don't you like a woman's ass in your face? I like a woman who washes that ass first. I Just... want queefs. I don't break for queefs. You know, like you're fucking going and you hear that and they, they sort of want to stop. Yeah, I'm fucking... I don't break for it either. That's like I'm driving down the highway and someone goes, hey. Okay, let me ask you. The biggest, <laughs> way worse than racism than anything else, the biggest albatross on black America's neck is this vision, this, this assumption that the world's out to get you. The elephant in the room with all this stuff is black failure, white guilt. And we need to explain why blacks are in prison. We need to explain why blacks are doing badly. And to say, oh, cops are fucking horrible racist pigs. And America's racist explains away the failure. And then there's no culpability. And you go, oh, that's why they're doing bad. It's our fault. And then you can move, get on with your day. But no, you're in jail. Because you'd committed a crime. <laughs> right, but the problem. A swarm of bullshit in this one area. These kids grow up in this. It becomes their environment. They become institutionalized. Like, it becomes their, their reality. And then they're stuck. And it's so hard to get out of that. It's so hard for me to empathize with that. Really? I mean, I look at Greenpoint, which is a really <laughs> poor Polish neighborhood, and it's crime free. Mm -hmm. There's drunks all over the street, passed out, but it's crime free. You look at. <clears throat> Any poor Eastern European neighborhood like Brighton Beach in Brooklyn, and I think of my dad. My dad grew up so poor that his toes make me dry heave because oh, he had God. his brother's hand-me-down shoes, and they were too small. And if you wear shoes too small, after an hour, you're like, I'm going to kill myself. But his whole life was shoes that were too small. He looks like Chinese foot binding. Two, yeah. And politics is two groups. It's people who want to be left <clears throat> the fuck alone and people who won't leave them the fuck alone. Blacks in Harlem are getting educated. 
and it's kicking ass. And the left is floundering because they, they hate, they like blacks as their little pet victims. And when <laughs> the free market helps them, they go, wait, don't help my victims, that's mine. And I saw the New York Times headline, it said, uh, uh, though charter schools thrive in Harlem, it's not a fix all. And the article was basically saying not all black kids can go to charter schools in Harlem, so they're not that great. Oh, that's hilarious. Open up more charter schools. Yeah, right? yeah. let's have more of them. You know, he personifies this sort of ba fake beta male comedian mm. the, with the cardigan and the, oh, I'm such a mess, I'm so fucked up. Uh, and these guys fuck 20-year-old girls while complaining and scratching their heads and going, I'm a mess. I had some chick, a friend of mine, <clears throat> 39, her, her, her physician said, Ooh, uh, 35, uh, getting kind of late. And she said it to me, like, can you believe that sexist pig? And I go, he's a nerd. He has Asperger's. He doesn't have, he's not sexist. He's telling you about your fucking vagina. Why? She told me that the uh, managing editor, who looks kind of like Jimi Hendrix, but it's a woman, uh, <laughs> she uh, would cry herself to sleep at night because she waited too long and her ovaries dried up. And uh... I feel like screaming at her, your whole agenda is telling women that they're men and they don't need kids and they'll be fine without kids and you don't even believe that fucking shit. Gavin, would you support a Muslim American for president? Hell no. That would be insane. That would be like having a German president in 1942 in America. Fucking Middle East. It, uh, all feminists should move to the Middle East and yeah. get to work. I mean, if I was a feminist, I wouldn't be putting up white supremacy stickers. I'd be putting up stickers saying, get Sharia out of America, or we don't want your burqas here, or honor killings are dishonorable. That's a good one. Burqas and hijabs, people can wear that. That's a religious expression thing. That's not. Is it though? Yeah. Okay, if the burqa is just religious ex expression and it's perfectly fine, why is it black polyester in the Middle East? Why are you in a bin bag, as Billy Conley puts it? Why isn't it flowing white gauze or a fresh cotton? It's clearly meant to punish the woman and make her suffer. And it impairs that. your vision. It's a form of oppression, but feminists in the West seem more concerned about high heel shoes, which woman wears a choice. But a burqa is not a choice. It's illegal not to wear one in all over the Middle East. Sharia yeah. law dictates a woman cannot show her body. I'm not from that culture, so I would rather not tell them what to do right now. We've got three million Muslims in America today. We've got places like Dearborn, Michigan, which are basically fifth columns for Islam. So it is here in America. It is here. And in the UK, we just had a child pedophile ring going on that wasn't investigated by the police because they didn't want to appear racist. So I think this sort of cultural relativism is really dangerous. Why are you f so focused on these rich white males who are essentially trying to get the economy going, trying to sell you stuff, trying to keep you happy because happy <laughs> keeps the economy going. I mean, Jack Welch, the CEO of GE, he doesn't want women getting raped. He doesn't have time for that. He's worried about the bottom line. He doesn't have time for racism either. If he's looking at a resume, okay, this is a new accountant. Oh, good. He's going to save us a quarter of a million dollars a year in tax. Oh, my God. He's that smart. And he's only asking for 150 k Well, the guy's a living profit machine. Of course I'm going to... Oh, he's a black man. It's about how they perpetuate the capitalist structure, though. Minimum wage? Minimum wage jobs. You're not supposed to raise a family at McDonald's. You may not be supposed to be, but there are too many people that that is their only option. Oh, because illegal aliens have crowded out the Not market. just that. Well, 15 million illegals working cheap has surely affected oh, yeah. the bottom sure. line. So I think if you're concerned about wages and the working class, you should be fighting illegal immigration. <laughs> they've driven down the wage gap. I mean, sorry, they've driven down the minimum wage. They've driven down wages in general. The biggest concern is the wealth gap, though. I mean, how much the top percent is making con in comparison to everybody else. Ah. That's... I'm a libertarian for everything but open borders. I don't understand why they want open borders. Well, because we feel like the people in the other countries got a shitty deal. They got a bad roll of the dice, and they're stuck in this really roll of the dice. Stinky Evolution spot. is a sh roll of the dice. Evolution from Mexico. Mexico sucks because of Mexicans. <laughs> what have they contributed to society Tacos, in the past hundred years? Burritos. Exactly. That's Chipotle. what Vincente Fox said. 
All religions are the they, same. Well, I think except thankfulness. Except for Muslim religions, because they have such a severe problem with inbreeding that they've gone backwards in time. Oh, you just did it again, huh? <laughs> I see what you did. I see what you I did see there. What you're doing. You're fucking no, around. look at Iran in 1965 and look at Iran now. They've gone backwards in time. Well, a lot of that has to do with uh, war. A lot of that has to do with all sorts of fucked up shit that's going on in the Middle yeah, East. Marrying that's your first with... cousin is what it has to oh. do with. Can I get a bucket to piss in? Yeah, well, you can go piss. There's a bathroom right out there. It's discouraged. And I think that's why we have so many of these ginger jihadis. I mean, it, I, <laughs> you look up any attack against America, and I always I keep repeating this, but from Boston Bombers, you mentioned in the book, um, you look at their childhood. And it was always, I played soccer and he listened to Van Halen and he was a relatively normal kid. He was still an immigrant and his parents were still Muslim, but he was on the way to assimilation. And then they start to get into, into adolescence and they get into a culture where we've trivialized patriotism and we said this country sucks and right. it's racist and the cops kill black people for sport. Right. And you start getting mad and the next thing you know, you hate this country. But yes, the culture has to be changed too. I think that would be a lot easier if we didn't have people millions, tens of millions pouring in who have no affection and no commitment to this culture. I, I yeah, think gay marriage, gay marriage is a tiny contingent of bitchy gays. Most gays don't give a fuck. It's almost like... But they want to be a woman. You're not, you can't be a woman. You can't be a bat. You can't be a giraffe. Becoming a woman is not something you get off a shelf. What's the matter with homosexuals? Why do you hate all this shit? And I go, mm -hmm. obviously, I don't fucking care. Like, if you're but on you, a mountain and you do something to yourself, you can right. cut your face off. There's just, there was just a woman in the news. She decided she wanted to be blind. And know, she had a physician that. put shit Isn't in her, chemicals in her eyes. She's blind. It's fucking insane. I don't want to make that illegal, but I want to also say, let's not normalize this. Because right. someone who is kind of dumb and crazy and thinks they want to be blind, now you've made it okay. Mm -hmm. So the, the MMA fight is... a perfect example of the problem with this whole li live and let live thing because now we have a dude with tits and a fake cunt kicking the shit out of chicks i find strip clubs to be a real sort of a cathedral of of worship for women it's seen as a sexist place and i think when women go there they think everyone's gonna be going ha, 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 look at that fucking naked bitch ha, ha, poor beer on her tits yeah but uh, i find women are shocked to see what it is where it's like a church where men are just staring in awe they're not talking they're very quiet. They just sip their beer, and women just put their like their asshole in the guy's face, and he's just sort of sipping his beer, just going. And a woman who takes good care of herself, her anus does look beautiful. Now you say a man. If I was to put my ass in your face, you would need 100% of your willpower not to throw up. I've got hairs all around it. I probably have hemorrhoids. My bag hangs down like a turkey's gullet. And it's got sporadic hairs, like a dying It's about dying how you appreciate bodies, though, because bodies can be quite beautiful, and it's who... So you're one of these people who believes that fat people are beautiful. Yeah, they can be. But that's... Uh, can we at least agree it's unhealthy to weigh 500 pounds? Yes, of course. So when we glorify everyone and say everything is beautiful it's your muffin top hanging over your 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 big gunt hanging over your your belt is wonderful you're actually encouraging obesity what's the matter with beauty and it's not like men are picky all these standards are i think it's about encouraging health some people are healthy at different sizes and no you're not healthy when you're fat 500 pounds is a different story, but I'm saying there is some... 280 ain't great either. There is... <laughs> well, I just feel like I don't understand why men get blamed for these unattainable beauty standards when we're fucking pigs. This is the key to political correctness. It's not about justice. It's about me telling you how to speak. It's about the upper classes telling the lower classes, oh, you don't say uh, uh, black anymore. You it's say also... person of color. Look yeah. at how they act when an old person, like a war vet, says Negro. They have this sort of giggling, like, <laughs> Negro, that's so old. That's like four names ago. They're not up to date with the names we've been telling them. I was on Fox once, and this woman <clears throat> said that Hillary said uh, colored person, and what Hillary actually said was person, person of color. color. Yeah. And she was mortified uh, in the green room, going, oh, my God, I said colored person. I meant to say that Hillary said person of color. Well, that's what's goes, what should I do? I'm like, why don't you apologize to him right now? Because there's some <laughs> black guy, sound guy over there. I'm like, go apologize to him. Maybe he'll forgive you. How ridiculous is it that it's okay to say a person of color, but it is not okay to say a colored person? That is the it's same proof fucking that thing. that this is all bullshit. <clears throat> and I agree with you on that. And back then, like at my boxing gym, all the black dudes 
are and the Puerto Ricans and the Hispanics, they're are all really good. riffing. <laughs> <laughs> they're and all the riffing. white people get brain damage. They're, they're all <laughs> riffing on each other's ethnicity. Mm -hmm. Like you, well, yeah. yeah, you're Puerto Rican. What would you know? You're you fucking go to. back on welfare. It's a fun way to riff, and it was right. the way it was a generation ago with the Archie Bunkers on the docks. Sure. Like, look yeah. at this fucking Polak. And I believe that we were closer when we could make jokes like that and relax. And be like, oh, it was on island time. Look at the black guy. I, when See, I, I, that's I, what I, I love about New York. I disagree. Like, I'm scared of women at work. You're I don't, scared of women, period. I don't, I don't riff at work. They turn to sand. I, uh, <laughs> they fucking, they hate the men. The sand was an they analogy to describe ovaries <laughs> being less I'm fucking less with fertile. you the way you fuck with people and you can't take it. How no, dare I you? No, I want to be clear. And the black women, <laughs> right, at work, they don't like that they're a pariah. And, you know, you're in the lunchroom riffing and going, look, fag, you like hot dogs because they're cocks. And then a black woman walks in and they go, uh, hi, uh, uh, Shaniqua, how are you? And everyone is walking on black woman eggshells, and that's not fun. And I don't think the black woman like it either. See, they go, everyone was having fun until I walked into the lunchroom. These fucking bureaucrats with no interest in being there, these rude, lazy morons, are going to be handling your justice. You're imparting your freedom and your liberty and your equality. You're saying, hey, shitheads, can you run my life, please? Even the cat calls today are fucking pussy cat calls. They're like, hello, yo, you're so beautiful, God bless. What? What's That's wrong with that? <laughs> it's, it's pussy whip. You're supposed to say, that ass just ruined my day. Or I would fucking Suck the dick. I would love to kiss. Well, tell me a um, fire. So I'm genuinely interested. Tell me a fire. Um, I mean, sexual assault is still an issue. More men get raped than women. So feminism, we need feminism because too many men are getting raped. Too many people are getting raped. That's part of it. Okay, so that, that just, actually makes sense. We need feminism because more men are getting raped than women, and we need to bring that number down. We need to bring all numbers down around rape and sexual assault. Well, the cases of rape are plummeting over the past quarter century. All we'll crime is going that. down. Okay, so, but then feminists should be outside prisons going, This is out of control. Stop prison rape. Stop prison rape. Leave men alone. Leave men alone. I cannot picture that. Yeah, well, I think that we, there should be more. Okay, so men getting raped is one fire that we need feminism for. Give me another one. Women in the hood love being catcalled. Black women not love it. Not all of them, no. Well, not all of them. And not all the time. I mean, there nothing are... Nothing is are, all. Nothing, it's not, we're not in Stalinist <laughs> Russia. Nothing's all. I have witnessed women trying to protect themselves and figure out how to get out of the situation just because of aggressive catcalls. And like well, you're right. Black men can get out of control sometimes, it's but for the most a, part, pretty balanced in who's catcalling. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Lots of black women running in fear from horny white men in in bed sty. <laughs> it does happen. Come on. Women are bleaching their anus. You know how many men have gone? She's almost perfect, but her anus is brown. <laughs> so we're splitting up. It's right. like my opinion on Macy Gray. Now my cup of tea. The singer? Yeah. Like. What? What's but I don't have a beef with Macy Gray. I just think she sucks. I think she abandoned her kids, actually, for really? her career. Yeah. Are you just making that up? No. Maybe the nerd could look it up, but... The nerd. How dare you? <laughs> maybe the super cool guy who gets laid a lot can look it up. And you know what drives me nuts about New York? Uh, sorry, pre-2015 Gav. These fucking kids dancing on the subway for money, and they're swinging around the poles... You know about this? No. They fucking... So, a, like, you get on the subway. Get on the subway. Go, Mind your own business. I'm about to do a show. Yep. Oh, boom, 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 boom. And they get out, and the shit they're doing isn't impressive. They're swinging around a pole on the oh. train, and you go, that's a stripper pole, faggot. You're uh, not as good as the strippers I usually see. Mm. You're a loser. And then they'll do shit like they'll... So they'll go upside down and slide down it slowly, and you can see the people who just moved here going, oh, my God. And I go, go to a strip club, and you'll see way better shit than that. And then they do this thing with their hat where they flip it and plop it on their head like that's mm -hmm. hard. Right. Like if, if we were drinking like a top hat? outside, no, a baseball hat, or they'll catch oh. in their teeth and flip it on their head. If we were drinking at an outside bar and you did that, I would go, oh, <laughs> land on your head. Yeah, it would be a, go, it's annoying. 
It is annoying. It's fucking annoying. I didn't know that that was going on. Yeah, it's a thing. Most people don't know this. When I'm at my friend's house and his mom serves me spaghetti, I'm thinking about her in lingerie. But, but you learn how to control it. Exactly. And that's about how you it's like being, an adult. It's like having a gnarled, twisted elephantitis fucking thalidomide arm. You just deal with this handicap. So it's like a little screen that's constantly playing in your mind. And you could be talking to a porn star who's nude. And well, you do it on the beach when you talk to him with a bikini who's asking you directions. You're like, I am about to get a boner, but uh, you go right down there and you see the hot dog stand, it's farther down there. Hmm. We don't. We can't fight to erase that. I don't understand why women's sexual, women aren't sexual enough. They've got every STD under the sun. Ovarian cancer is going through the roof because they've all had venereal warts on their cervix. They're uncomfortable. They don't know how to have no, them. No, they like being dominated in bed. Straight women, at least. See, you guys are ruining the community. Now you're ruining sex. I used That's to... That's not ruining sex. Yes, That's being is. able to Permission express is, your needs. Permission is a turnoff. I, but I used to go a, your oh. way. When I was in college, I tried the whole... Can I put my hand here? Can I put my hand here? Their pussies would be well, as dry as the Sahara Desert. There's then levels I started, to that. One day I was just fucking a girl and I said, who's your daddy? And she started writhing in ecstasy and I went, okay, let's pursue this vein. And then next thing you know, I'm choking them, plugging their nose when I fuck their mouths, calling them whores, yeah, slapping them. And I didn't get more laid than when I started to become a fucking domineering asshole. I, would get, I got an email once that said, thank you for raping me last night. Heterosexual sex is a, like a snake grabbing the mouse, and if you've ever seen it, when it sinks its fangs into the mouse, and the mouse just sort of goes, ah. They want a snake to go, to take over. They don't want, okay, they, first of all, some, I like my anus licked, and then that's for about one minute, and then go work on my clit, and then but, do in and out, and in and out. Permission-based sex can still be super raunchy and <laughs> super juicy. Okay, I want you to break in here and violate me, and then um, ask me yeah. what I want next. Good sex set, set is right on the verge of this is going to court. It, you want, you're like Icarus. For you you maybe. want to fly for close you, to the sun, but, but not. not for everybody. I thought I was fucking a girl in her ass, and it went into her cunt, and it actually went into his condom. And Inside. So I'm looking down at what, her. How loose is his condom? What is it, a fucking trash bag? I was harder than him, make I guess. sense. <laughs> Path of least resistance. So I'm looking down you're at her. You're making things like, up. I swear to God. You I'm got not. inside his condom. Yep. So you're using the condom no one ever as believes a me about this container story. so that you guys could rub dicks together. Uh, that wasn't the plan, but I was, I, I was like, I'm fucking this bitch's ass. And I look down, and I see an asshole. And I'm like, how many assholes does this woman have? I'm in at least one of them. And then I reach down, and I feel a condom on. How? You're pushing right. and pushing and pushing, and then you sort of feel... It's like two mobsters digging a hole for a body, and their shovels clink. Like, right. you don't fucking care. You're at work. Right. I understand. Yeah. Pushing What's this against. girl doing the whole time? Going, what the <gasps> hell just happened? <laughs> it's like Donald Sutherland, yeah. an invasion of the body snatchers. Yeah. <gasps> well, she's got two dicks in her vagina. She's fucking, whoa, buster. <sighs> Listen. She was from Malta. I go, I didn't have a condom on. I have a condom on. And then I pull out, and I bust a nut on her butt. 